Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, it is I, it is she, it is her, it is the, it is who, it is Rosie Rosette 2020, pal. Listen, let's talk about my girl Nene. Let's thank you, Shea Room, for this picture. Now look at her, honey. Look, she don't look like no widow to me, baby. She look about five shades lighter. Um, the cheeks, that nose, the teeth, the lips. She don't look like Nene that used to be Nene when um, Housewives of Atlanta first came on. And you know what? Yeah, you're supposed to evolve and, you know, do whatever. But she got new nose, new lips, new, new, new teeth, new cheeks. Her eyes, you know, skin is a little lighter. Her boobs, you know, she got that stomach snatched. Well, not snatched, but cut down or whatever. You know, and okay. But the thing about it is, um, well, from what I heard, wasn't she, wasn't Nene, um, dating before Greg passed away? Or before Greg got sick or, from what I heard, Nene had hers and Greg had, had, um, you know. Greg had his side and Nene had her side. Some guy, like Tasha Kent was talking about how she has some guy in D.C. or something like that that she needs to. Now, I don't think this is the guy. Because look how light Nene is. Nene look lighter than me. But anyway, um, this is not a good picture of him at all. Now, this man, he's some type of tailor or designer or something. And he's supposed to be married. Like, I just don't understand what part of the sacrament of marriage do people, why can't people respect that? Is a man married? He's supposed to be married. Is he from Ghana? He's supposed to be married to someone in North Carolina or South Carolina, somewhere in the Carolinas? Now, I mean, but you know, you never know how people get down, you know, especially in the industry or whatever, but I. I just can't, I, 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 I just can't see myself marrying or dealing with somebody who is married. Now, maybe if you, you know, if you're a sheik or, you know, somewhere in Dubai, you got a, a harem of wives and you taking care of everybody, but uh, not just some old regular person where it's not a part of the religion, you know, you just being a heifer. Girl, you just too. I, but you know what? Never say never. You never know, honey. Tomorrow I could be like, guess what, y'all? I found someone. He married. He got 20 kids. Got three wives or whatever. He ain't got no money, whatever. But you know what? Love is love. I don't know. Is this love or is this rebound or, you know? Because I can imagine. Greg has been sick for what three or four years, so. You know they ain't had sex, her and Greg, but at this age, are you even, you know, you even get, what on that show? I'm just saying, you know, it's like, girl. And she said that, you know, this is one, this picture's kind of messy, but she said that, Greg, let me figure, okay, let me get this. Look, this is just so messy. She said that Greg gave her her blood. Now look at her face. Now you know she wrong for that. Look at all that contour and concealer and that girl. You ain't that light. Nene always wanted to be Kim. I don't know. She. I don't understand. I don't know what, what people why they want to be light or white. Damn near white. It just I don't I don't get it but this is just she looked like a clown right there she does she really does look like a clown and her pants are too tight you can see her pants real tall but okay yeah I mean get Greg probably gave her you know the ability to move on even well before you know he was six feet under or whatever you know but they stayed married and you know they be couples have their agreements I get it. But Greg ain't been cold in the ground for... Aren't you supposed to wait a certain amount? 
a certain amount of time. Listen, I've never been married. I ain't never been married and I've been celibate for a while. I just can't imagine me being married for 20 some odd years and as soon as my husband passed away, I can't even mourn for six months without being seen with another married I mean, it's, it's, it'll, it'll be okay, you know. It'll be somewhat okay if the person was married. But this man is married, allegedly. And he being seen with needy, honey, they kissing and everything. I was like, girl, you, I don't know, just, look, look, they holding hands, they together, they're a couple, this ain't no business relationship. They know what she needed to tell me that. He's handsome guy, but he, he, if he's married, isn't he supposed to be off limit? This is a bad picture of her. Let me get it there. I don't, I'm not into, you know, posting bad pictures of people. I'm just not into that. Okay, here we go. This is him and her. And he, she got that. She finally got that, that nose, honey. Small enough and them teeth. Thank God she ain't trying to look like a clown in high yellow in this picture but still she gonna keep that finally that blonde hair looks somewhat okay but anyway this man is married i mean if you gonna date a married man like do like mariah carey is mariah carey the one who was dating a married man a married billionaire you know like portia she dated some billionaire and where was it who brought her the Rolls Royce? I don't think he's as a food. I'm not saying that if a man is a billionaire that, you know, that it discounts the fact that he's married. But like even Kim, when she married, I mean, when she was dealing with Big Papa, you know, Big Papa was bankrolling her. Is this man? Ba no, no, he can't be bankrolling her because she's selling her house. She's he is beneath her he is beneath her and he's married and he's married how are you going they broke and they marry see that is the definition of thirsty girl girl i you know i guess when she ain't had none so for so long from greg it gets to the point where you're like okay you know, Greg is six feet. Up. Now I can come out with my my uh, side piece, my side piece. But brother, you don't feel no certain type of way dealing with um, you know a, a woman who's there's no scruples anymore. There's no and what's what's up with your wife? Both just ain't got no scruples. I guess I'm just gonna be single until I'm six feet under. Cause I'm telling you, just people ain't got no scruples. You got the COVID, you got all these diseases, and you know Atlanta, you know, that's the Mecca for STDs or whatever, and y'all sharing, mm-mm, mm-mm, I guess, you know what, I'm just holier than thou now, I might as well go ahead and be a nun in a church, honey, and keep my cooch tight, because this is just, I, I'm, I, I just, I don't know, I've given up, I'm so sick of y'all. Just, you know, she look at her. Look at her. This is not the Nini that we saw when Housewives of Atlanta first came out. She think how many nose jobs did she get? She kind of looks deformed. Her teeth look pretty, though. But Nini, look, she got that nose contoured. I'm telling you. She gonna keep that blend. She don't even look. Is this her or is this how? I think this is a filter. Mm -mm -mm. I guess people are so astonished because everyone loved Greg. Everyone loved Greg. Everyone loved Greg. Portia looks good in this. And Shamia, her husband, which we never see on the show, he's handsome. He's a handsome guy. But the one that um, 
Nini's with he the way he kind of looks. He kind of looks kind of evil. Whatever you see his eyes. Mm -hmm. Portia and Simon they do look like a handsome couple. A handsome couple. I mean these are a bunch of you know three couples very good looking. You know Atlanta's best or whatever. I won't say Atlanta's best, but you know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just so distraught that she can't wait six months and then the man that she brings out, he's married or he's married allegedly. Boy, you know what? You ain't going to get one like, uh oh, hold on. You ain't going to get one like this one. But didn't she, wasn't Greg married when she got with him? Yeah, just oh girl, honey. I don't know. I don't know. She's a mess. I don't know. But you know, I used to love some Nene. But I don't know. I mean, you know what? I ain't gonna even be judgmental, girl. You do you, honey. You do you. You do you. But just honey, be careful, of karma, baby. Be careful. But this won't be her first go around with a married man. Wasn't Craig married when she met him? Or was he divorced from his wife? I can't call it. I cannot call it. All right. Okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, okay. You know, we got to let it go. We got to let it go. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.